Welcome back to Bites and Sights. I'm Christina, and today we're wine tasting at Oregon's Willamette Valley. The first place we went to is Argyle Winery. One of their specialties is their sparkling wine. We had their sparkling wine tasting set. All the wine was really good. If you're a fan of sparkling wine, I'd recommend that you come here in the spring. Last year I came in September and they were all sold out, so you couldn't buy any more. So if you do want to buy some sparkling wine, you should make sure you come in the spring. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is the good stuff. Ruby root if I can because it's Yummy. my fucking favorite. It's Pinot de Sparkle Pinot. So we're here at Argyle Winery and we got the tasting plate for the sparkling wine. And our first wine is the 2019 Estate Reserve Fruit Rose. Say? No, this is not. No? This is the Ruby Root. It's not Where? on the tasting plate. Oh, line. okay. This is Ruby Root. It's a Pinot Noir wine. You can tell. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Oh, I like it. It's like a really juicy but kind of tart one. I do like that they serve their glasses in Rydell glasses. This is a rose. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Okay, so okay, look to recap I'm the rosé is pretty dry. This is a 2017 Spirit Hill Blanc de Blanc. This is supposed to be more citrusy, I believe. Potato kind of, but oh, yeah. they're, they're like they're not actual potatoes. They're like more crispy and crunchy. And then I ordered um, honey from the mm. on a boat this somewhere. This one's not tart, but not it's right like now. it's very dry. And All of their sparkling wines are quite dry. Be and this is a 2018. With, with, uh, are you getting Santa Barbara? Um, yeah, and I'm gonna get like some Blanc Blanc. Blanc. citruses and make a citrus foam to go on top, like a Buddha's hand citrus or something like that. Yeah. This and has like a the, cheesy uh, smell. It's kind of like cream. Mm. The course four is this. I got this with pasta that's made by like one family in like Sicily somewhere. And that's going to be with um, pecorino cheese and shaved. I feel like this is even more dry. Um, and this is going to be, this is supposed to be more like apple-y or more like fruit forward. The restaurant that also sells wine, jam, souvenirs, pickles, and knickknacks. We shared a mushroom pizza, a burger, a ham sandwich, and roast beef sandwich. The wood fire pizza was so good. It was super crispy and cheesy. I think I got it all the way through. Just we got, just we got. Usually the middle of the pizza gets soggy and loose structure, but this didn't. I would 100% order this again. Oh, you got that mushroom ball. This is yummy. The burger was also really good. There was pickles, caramelized onion, lettuce, American cheese, and their special sauce. All the food at Red Hills Market is actually really good, except they do have a lavender latte that I tried last time and don't get that. We also split the ham sandwich and the roast beef sandwich. I personally like the roast beef sandwich and the pizza the best. The burger and the ham sandwich was also really good though. We continued our winery tour by going to Remy Wines. Their black heart champagne was super good. We're at Remy Restaurant Winery, second winery of the tour. The atmosphere is super nice and really chill, and on a nice summer day, you can just sit on the yard and have some wine. <laughs> Did they make this in Champagne style? Yeah. 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 It's also the premier lesbian winery in Willamette Valley. Ew, I'm gonna ew. need some of this. This, I might get a bottle of this. Yeah, yeah. And it's not like super dry. For dinner, we ended up going to Bistro Maison. It's run by a couple and the husband is a chef and the wife is the manager slash sommelier. It's a French restaurant and it's so, so, so good. You will regret not coming here. Their truffle fondue is a must get. It comes with apples, potatoes and ham and bread to dip into the truffle fondue. And I personally prefer the potatoes. Yummy. Okay. Super yummy fondue. Yeah. But there's Hard. like no, apple they're, they're, they're and potato really as a part of the fondue. And then the last thing that you can have to dip with your fondue is ham. What's your opinion, Christina? <laughs> 
It's gnomes. The kushi oysters were also really good to have as an appetizer. Of course not. Okay, so here's the oyster. These are kushis. You want another one? No. Mm. Yeah, but we went to Stoller with all those people when we got the you big guys, discount. How mm. cute is Phil? I love, you. we love your wife and we I love, love you. Oh, thank you. Kush oysters. <laughs> Some crab, avocado, we're lettuce. We're not really heroines, we're not partying? Yeah. <laughs> Duh. It's the only way to party. Mm. They just like, like, like two what? Of alcohol and what's that? Out. Parts, Parts of palm? It's kind of like an like artichoke? Palm? No, it's the it's center different. of a palm. Yeah. Center of a palm tree. Oh. I've never eaten a palm tree before. It's the heart of the palm. The tender heart. Mmm. I like the palm tree. You like the palm tree? Yeah. And for the mains, I really recommend the duck confit. That was by far the best dish. Second best was probably the scallop and prawns. And I also really like the steak tartare, but I just wish it was more of a appetizer. I think it was just too much raw beef for an entree, personally. <laughs> the last place we went to was Stoller's Winery. The wine at Stoller's was really good. And don't miss out on their cheese charcuterie board. It was literally the best one that we've had at any of the wineries on this trip. I highly recommend that you make reservations for the wineries that you want to visit. And most of the wineries, if you buy one or two bottles, they'll comp your tasting. So just make sure you ask how many bottles you need to buy. And if you don't end up buying a bottle of wine, you just have to pay for the wine tasting. So if you're like me and it's your first time hearing about Oregon's wine country, then I suggest you come over and have a taste. You won't be disappointed. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next week. Hey, so today we're here at Remy Winery and it is the only lesbian owned winery in Portland, Oregon in the Willamette. Oh, Will in the... <laughs> no, stop it! You're ruining my shot. <laughs> we're here at Remy. It is the premier lesbian wine. Wine. See? See? You're not, well, you're not, not like, much better. Okay. All, right. All right. Ready? Are you ready? Jen, are you ready? Wait. <laughs> now it's now it's not free. Repeat after me. Willamette. Willamette. We're here at Remy. Wait, wait, wait. It's a lesbian owned winery in the Willamette Valley in Oregon. And the wine's fucking excellent. Oh, that sound. Mine's empty. Mm. I want Remy some more. That. We're gonna need to Remy that. <laughs> this oh, black heart one. is delightful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs>